OK, hello everyone. Good morning. I um, hope everybody who's watching is well. Today, myself and Julianne are here to briefly introduce to you the Wales Local Nature Partnership and explain what it is that we do. Um, this will only be a short presentation, but if you have any questions or queries, our contact details are available on the final slide and you can contact either of us and we will be happy to help or provide you with further information. Right, thank you, Claire. So hi everyone, my name is Julianne Quinlan. I am one of the Local Nature Partnership coordinators for Conway Council. Uh, I've taken the full-time position and I work with the, as the communications lead along with the Bionet Network. And my name is Claire Williamson. I am the part-time Local Nature Partnership coordinator here in Conway Council. Um, I'm currently working on delivering the Local Places for Nature funded project Conway Green Networks. OK, so what is the Local Nature Partnership? Well, it's a partnership, aim, a partnership aimed at building a nature recovery network across Wales. We engage with people, communities, businesses and decision makers in both practical action and strategic planning for a healthy, resilient and nature rich Wales. As I mentioned in my introduction, I'm currently working on delivering the Conway Green Networks project, which is funded by the Local Places for Nature Welsh Government Grant Scheme. This project focuses on engaging with community groups and housing associations to ensure and to enhance and create green spaces for people and biodiversity with an aim to connect people with nature where they live, work and access public services. Utilising our partnership with Cobnod is invaluable whilst delivering this project as it allows us to make better informed decisions when delivering the local places for nature Conway Green Networks project. Cofnod provide us through our partnership with local species lists and maps of areas where we are working with project partners to ensure we do no harm to biodiversity through delivering the project. So as I mentioned before, I've taken on the lead as communications and working with the Bionet Network. And so our local nature partnership is slightly different in the northeast region compared to other counties across the country. Um, here we work together across four counties, uh, Stembyshire, Conway, which is us, Flintshire and Wrexham. And we work with these local authorities to promote and record existing and new actions to conserve, promote and enhance nature in Wales. Um, Collectively, we are known as Bionet and all counties have at least one LMP. Um, we've, we collaborate and coordinate by publicising local and regional action to support the halt of biodiversity on a local and regional scale. Um, we also identify nature priorities across our region. So in doing so, we create a nature recovery action plan. And this allows us to translate our regional targets onto national targets. And finally, we raise awareness and promote diet biodiversity and we actively share on our social media platforms and we advise we advise on sites and inform and creating a local community engagement in conservation. So we have an array of different partners, um, active partners, and we are continuously growing. We work with organisations in all sectors across the country, um, some of which are more notable here, you, as you can see. However, we have taken a holistic approach to nature recovery and we have expanded into non-traditional audiences. Um, we will be focusing on organisations on well-being, as with nature and well-being too are, are um, related. Um, we've also worked with uh, farmer, farming communities who will be hopefully be our new partners at the Nature Friendly Farming Network and we'll also be working with disability charities such as the Blind Veterans. Um, so we do incorporate different aspects from environmental to disability and this holistic approach to nature gets a, a wider audience and a wider received message of nature recovery. Um, 
Well, how do we engage the community to record with Covnod? Um, as Covnod is one of our partners, we do promote their um, their service to our our organisations, our clients. Um, our holistic approach to organisations gives wider scope to audiences. Uh, we encourage recordings from whoever we're meeting on that day, whether it's communities, businesses or organisations using the Covnod service. Um, this in turn helps make an informed decision for nature recovery at these sites and we can strategically plan what we intend to do on that site, knowing what we have and what is lacking and how we can improve that. Um, in doing so, it widens the public perspective of ecology and biodiversity across regional scales. Um, more community involvement is, is the goal and it increases public interest for conservation and nature. And in doing so, we create a nature, a natural community and a community willing to protect what we have and what is what we have and what is is in decline and trying to increase um, increase biodiversity and awareness across the county and region. Thanks, Julianne. Well, this is going to be shown to you as a pre-recorded session, but I'd still like to say thank you for listening. We hope you've been able to give we've been able to give you an insight into the function and purpose of the Cymru LMPs. Um, you can find on the Biodiversity Wales website your LMP coordinator details for any of the local authorities or national parks in Wales. Um, you can also contact myself or Julianne on the details shown on the screen currently. Um, if you have any questions or queries, um, we are here today for a little while or you can email us at a later date. We also show the website here for BioNet Wales, which is our regional North East Wales LMP, as Julianne mentioned, and we'd really, really like it if you followed us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Um...